Hey Collective, as promised, I am here to do a 1212 portal reading. Um, We actually have a lot of trends that's happening, if you think about it, but the three in particular, we have the 1212 portal, <laughs> the 1212 portal, which is today. It's 10.02 where I am on the clock. 10.02. Okay. Then we have the Mercury retrograde and Capricorn from October. Not October, but I thought about October because I've seen 10.02. So Libra is very significant. Our Venus energy is very significant. Um, but no, Mercury retrograde in Capricorn from December 13th until December 31st. And then, um, Venus is in Scorpio, new moon in Sagittarius. Okay. So this energy is potent. I feel like a lot of shit is getting cleared out with the vulture energy okay heavy emphasis on necessary energy needing to be aired out cleaned out removed twin flame is here with knowledge i feel like things are being removed and there's a focus on divine connections as it pertains to relationships in all sorts. All right, let's see what's going on. Make sure you guys like the video, please. It most definitely helps the channel grow. Let's get some fire in here. For the new moon and Sag on this 1212 portal. Some of you guys may have a moon in Sagittarius, as I do. So shout out to all my Sagittarius sun and mooners or wherever you have that beautiful sign. But this 1212 portal is just giving me divine energy. I don't want, I'm I'm really getting 1111, especially with this twin flame energy. Um but we're focusing on the 1212 energy. Which is significant because that breaks down to 33. And then we seen 1002. Well, I seen 1002 on the clock, which breaks down to three. So three, three, three. Something about discernment around sensuality negative sensuality because positivity was in the reverse but there's changes being made i feel like obstacles are being removed from divine unions connections that were being tested obstacles that were strategically placed um in order to block divine unions from uniting Holy Spirit, what what's going on? What's going on? Got me out my bed. <laughs> Got me out the bed. So this probably won't be posted until tomorrow on twelve thirteen. Um, but we're in the energy. That's what's most important. We're diving in. I'm also picking up, like, there's no more, okay, no. <laughs> Talk to me, source. Holy Spirit, what's going on? All right, so, whoa, this is good. So, a twin flame union is being supported and money is being increased at this time. 
Mm, noble person. That's, there's a noble person coming in. Or you are the noble person. There's that new love. Some of you guys may be attracting this twin flame. Or the person that's coming in. There's going to be a very magnetic connection. Um, you're going to see this person as your twin flame. Why? Because they're a noble person as you are. You're going to see somebody doing something very noble, very honorable. Um, it's like they're doing something that you would do. Yeah, you got eviction favored. If some of you guys are uh, coming across eviction, your money will be increased. Therefore, you won't need to move like your favorite. Everything is going to be in perfect alignment. I'm picking up on miracles. Yeah, you have chaos. That's giving me a tower moment, but you're being supported right now within a tower. You may be being guided at this point. Yeah, wow. If some of you guys are dealing with um, eviction as far as an apartment or something, you're going to be gifted with a home. All right. Wow. Pregnancy is here. <laughs> you got relax, rental, and letting go. Yeah, some of you guys will be letting go of a rental. Whoa, this is beautiful. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. You got divine feminine, money issues, favored, divine masculine. So stability is coming in. You're letting go of a rental. You can relax. Ownership is coming in due to money increase. Some of you guys may get like a $50,000 loan. I heard that number specifically. This is enough to buy a house and get your, your finances back in order, get back stable. Um, some of you guys may be renting a home, but I'm also picking up on rental property. You could be doing this with your partner. I'm also picking up as you connect with your divine partner, money issues dissipate, or either you have more favor or your divine masculine or feminine does, or the both of you have favor, which is going to dissolve any issues, obstacles, Anything that could have been holding you back while you were in separation from this person is as you you guys get closer together, um, the more you can relax. Something about slowing down, slow down, relax, enjoy life, take it easy, go outside. Some of you guys may benefit from going outside. Yeah, a lot of releasing at this time. A lot of releasing at this time. Is this the deck I want to use? Do we want to use this one first? Eight of Wands. So there's communication within the Twin Flame Partnership. Magician here could be a Virgo or a Gemini. All right. So you're manifesting all of your desires during this uh, portal. All your desires are being placed in front of you so that you can plan properly with the two of wands with all of the resources all of the guidance all of the knowledge all of the support that god universe source has been blessing you with like now is the time to act upon those things or to plan accordingly here something about being strategic all right manipulating energy here or somebody could be very um, swift with their words at this time. Somebody could be talking themselves out of a situation right now with this 1212 portal, new moon and Sag, Jupiter, Mercury going into retrograde. All right. Because, you know, when retrograde appears, uh, there could be miscommunication here. Yeah. You got the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Some of you guys may be on the verge of losing a job, but I see I see that turning around, something working in your favor here, or some of you guys could have been losing um, a creative spark is getting lit again. It could be this, this twin flame lighting you back up. Why is the eight of pentacles in reverse? 
the Queen of Wands. Yes, inspiration. Mm, divine feminine energy. Yeah, the, the Empress. Listen, uh, I love this Four of Pentacles here. Your confidence is rising. Whoa. Okay. Knight of Cups with the King of Cups in the reverse. Why is this here? This just blew out. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune with the Sun card. Oh. The Hermit. All right, somebody's benefiting from, uh, somebody's ready for a relationship and somebody's benefiting from being honest about this. All right. The King of Cups in reverse could be someone who is in a relationship or with the Knight of Wands, this could have been some sort of, uh, this could have been some sort of player type of energy. But I feel like with the will and fortune and the sun, somebody is realizing like what makes them happy. Yeah, Knight of Cups and offers coming in, Knight of Knight of Wands. Somebody, somebody definitely could have been um, in denial about commitment. What is support? Somebody appreciates your support. Somebody appreciates your support. I'm gonna say that. Knight of Swords here. So you could be communicating this support or this help that you need, or somebody's going to be communicating this to you. High Priestess with the full Pisces, Aries energy, or Aquarius, however you want to see the full. Somebody could be in need of support, though, because the full could speak about, you know, a wayward energy or somebody on a journey, traveling really light, don't have really, don't have really. <laughs> really don't have much but faith actually seven of pentacles yeah faith of a mustard seed okay and they want to plant the seed with you there's a tower i picked up on tower energy death card mm. okay something about uh a full full-on transformation happening you're being supported during this transformation, um, the more you communicate this, the better. The devil, why? The emperor. Whew. Mm. Mm. This is strong as energy, y'all. Somebody definitely uh, is gaining self-control over their toxic their toxic urges or temptation okay because we got the emperor and the empress here why is the emperor with the devil knight of swords did i say this was a knight of swords page of swords here i'm sorry y'all i'm still learning these cards but listen Okay, what is this? It's a lot. Give me one card here for the Emperor, Devil, and the Knight of Swords. Thank you. Page of Pentacles. But yeah, somebody, all right, this energy here is giving me like the temptations that used to override someone's uh, consciousness. It's like when you know better, you do better. Somebody is doing better. They don't care if it puts them back in a page energy. They rather start all over fresh, transform and renewed than going down the same rabbit hole. Yeah, four of swords. Okay. Mm hmm Knight of Wands. Uh, 
three of cups. Knight of Wands. Um, the Temperance. Alright. Now we'll see if the Emperor comes back out. Why is chaos here? Some four of wands. Okay. So rest assured, your living uh, situation will be turning around. Some of you guys may be in a chaotic uh, home environment or it's an environment that isn't conducive to your frequency. I definitely do see that turning around. All right. You could be an Aries or a Leo or dealing with one of these signs here. But things are being turned around. You are favored here. There's a Knight of Pentacles. So patience are moving slowly. All right. So something is slowly coming to an end here. Or something may seem abrupt to, to someone else. But to you, you've seen it coming. Three of Swords. Mm. There's a chaotic divorce or separation happening here. Somebody was in denial about the way a situation was going in a romantic uh, connection. With the Four of Wands Sun card. There could be a child involved too. Because we do have pregnancy or somebody's finding out they're pregnant in the midst of finding out they're being cheated on. Or they, somebody's, somebody, okay, show me pregnancy. I'm getting two people pregnant at the same time. Temperance. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, hold on y'all, 10, 19, the moon yeah so this could be coming out let me see nine of pentacles two of pentacles yeah, somebody was juggling, but they were happy in both spaces. That may be why, okay, you have you may be feeling deceived or like someone, yeah, deceived you or lied to you, manipulated you, all right? Because whatever comes out, you weren't expecting this. With this homeowner, look, it just say ownership, and I'm giving it a home, I'm giving it a name. Yeah, there's a queen of wands. Or, I'm sorry, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is a marriage. You could have just moved into this place. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Anyway, out that energy. Some of you guys definitely are going to be uh, moving into a new space, a new place, a new home. I see you decorating it. I see... Oh. Why am I picking up on this energy? Uh, okay, I'm going to say this and we're moving on. I, I see somebody unpacking boxes or they're, they're shopping for a new home, but at the same time, they're crying, they're sad, they're heartbroken. It's like giving... Uh, somebody was ready to turn a house into a home, but the person they had planned on doing it with isn't there. They're with someone else. Okay. Moving on. Divine Feminine, Three of Cups, okay. Three of Cups with Divine Feminine, Two of Cups, Nine of Cups, King of Swords, whoa. You could be calling in an air sign. 
Oh, why is money issues here? Yeah, this could have been stressful. But you got... Uh, you got um, money increase. So there's no need to worry about money issues here. Nine of Swords with the Hangman. Some of you guys may be stressed out about that, though. Um, there's opportunities coming in. You're being guided to use your discernment with making the best option with the money you do have. Okay, the Hermit again with the Three of Wands. All right, the Ace of Swords. Some sort of clarity is coming in. I feel like, too, some of you guys may have had to use um, money. Uh... For your health, I was, okay, a lot of money went towards your health. I'm picking up on medical bills or something like that. Yeah, there's the hermit again, but it was twisted in reverse. So I feel like that's being lifted. You won't have to worry about that again. Mm -hmm. Give me divine masculine. Nine of wands, eight of cups. So your divine masculine is walking away from a situation that's no longer serving them. That's causing them frustration, a situation where they feel like they need to steadily activate their, their ability to persevere. Mm -hmm. Ooh. They looking for you, Queen of Cups. With the chariot, Cancerian energy. I feel like you guys are going to be meeting up right in the middle. Devil card again. Let's see, where are we? 22, 22, I just seen. Um, all right, let's pull a um, spirit animal, my animal spirit, animal spirit for the collective on this 12 12 porter. For I keep saying porter, why? Porter, a person employed to carry luggage and other loads, especially in a railroad station, airport, or hotel. Dark brown bitter beer brewed. Damn, try saying that 10 times fast. Dark brown bitter brew. Dark brown bitter beer brewed from malt partly charred or browned by drying at a high temperature. Hmm. A carrier, a baggage carrier, something about hotels and roads, railroads. So a leg bar is coming through. Something about roads opening. The full cart is here, so being able to carry your bags through lightly. Um, something about giving an offering of brew, dark brown bitter brew. Something about the color dark brown, something about uh, drying temperatures. Let's see what's going on with this butterfly transformation here. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. 
give me a second. Uh, here we go. All right, Undergo undergoing a great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is within us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Then transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort. Be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a, like a cocoon, committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer. Done at the same place and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirit. When in balance, cheerful and graceful. When out of balance, fragile and frustrated. To bring into balance a daily routine. So you will benefit from a daily routine during this 12-12 portal. Also during this, this whole transit of the Mercury retrograde, get into a routine, a habit, something you do every day. Even if you're in separation with your person, um, which I am picking up on. Let me see. I'm being guided to pull one more oracle. Divine abundance. Expansiveness is here. Okay. We got grief and we got guidance with delusion excuse me if you guys heard that tears are what happen when the ice and the heart melts letting go wow some of you guys can be grieving someone at this time um and letting go could be a process it's hard you gotta think about a birthing process like i said on the butterfly energy or any transformation it comes with some sort of discomfort everything is indeed out of control and god will hold it all i can safely let go yeah there's something you're you're letting go during this full moon or i'm sorry this new moon and on this 12 12 portal yes yeah, surrender to freedom and invite help would you have support here to help, advice, support, guidance, trust? Mm -hmm. So you guys are receiving help from someone you're grieving over. They're actually helping you or they are wanting you to detach from the grieving process i know that's not easy trust me um but that's just what i'm getting out the energy with detachment you will finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire ironically that's often when it's fulfilled Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. So yeah, definitely trust your inner guidance to detach from ego or anything that's blocking and stopping you from letting go of what you need to let go of. I feel like when you, you know, gradually let go of this, that's when freedom comes in as you surrender you release shackles so that you can fly. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bond. Just period. All right, y'all. I'm about to go. I love you. Peace.